Hello everyone, there's a new update out today. Um, most of it's just um, I've been rewriting a lot of the code to, to make it a bit more stable um, and easier to fix bugs and things like that. Um, so a lot of it's been rewriting so you won't really notice any differences, just uh, hopefully it should be a bit more stable. Um, I'll just get off here. So while I've been going through the code, um, I've also been tweaking and making a few improvements as well. Like for instance, um, the chests that are used throughout the mod, you know, to, to store things and pick things up in, um, usually you just have to place it, the ch a single chest, right next to either left or right or in front of a, a particular box, like the mining box for instance. Um, you can now place it within sort of four blocks radius of, of the whatever box you happen to be using so with mining you, you can place them here a double chest here another one here you could you place one here as well possibly one this side as well so for instance with the mining normally you'd have just a single chest and it'll fill up pretty quickly if you're saving dirt as well um, but now you can see if I open this one it's going into this double chest and as soon as that's full up, it'll probably start filling this one up and then this one as well. So you've got plenty more storage now as well. So it helps for one of the new features, uh, terraforming, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, I've also made a quick tweak to the speed. Um, they'll now mine a little bit quicker than before, because I thought it was a bit too slow. Um, just based on how fast you can actually mine yourself really so it's, it's now a little bit faster uh, also I've changed uh, one of the options on the mining box itself uh, you can now leave the mine open or do the normal one where it's, it, it puts a glass cover over the top so that's now option you'll just flick that switch there um, just in case you do want it open for whatever reason so normally you'd uh, probably dis discard all the dirt but you, for the terraforming particularly the land terraforming uh, you need an awful lot of dirt so um, that's why I've done this, the chest thing so you can store um, lots more dirt it's in this one I'm keeping all the dirt um, because you, you'll need it for the, the terraforming so this this is a new bit of terraform land um, this was this was just swamp land before nothing nothing here but um, water and a few trees and things. Now it didn't just put a, a single layer of dirt on top, it actually goes right the way down to the seabed. Uh, you can see down there, I'll put some lights on so you can see. That's the seabed and this is the terraformed land. So it goes all the way down, um, so it does require a lot of dirt. Um, but there is an advantage of that is, is I can go over here and uh, dig a mine. Um, it'll go through the dirt levels but um, it'll also mine the resources that were below the seabed so normally you wouldn't be able to get at them um, well you could but it's a bit awkward so yeah that's that's why I've done it that way so one of the new features is a, a new job uh, terraforming which allows you to uh, shape the land and do various things um, to make it look how you want it to um, so the way you do that is through the constructor block um, if you right click that now you get uh, two extra buttons as well as being uh, able to hire a builder you can now hire a terraformer so I'll just hire somebody and then you've got the terraform area button if you click on that these are the uh, current options available uh, there'll be more added later um, as, I, as I think of them or if you want to suggest some but these are the ones that are there so far um, I'll demonstrate a couple of them because most of them operate just exactly the same as each other they just do a, a slightly different thing um, so the first one is sea land which is just turns water into land so whether it's sea or a river and it will do it not just the top layer but the uh, the layers right down to the, the sea floor uh, completely transforming the area so if I choose that option there um, before I do though, you just check this this option here, the radius. Uh, the default is 30. Um, what this means is it's. If I just come out of here, this is the uh, the center position of where the terraforming will start. And then if you count, say, the default 30, if you count 30 blocks in that direction, and then 30 in that direction, and then 30 in that one, and, and 
finally that one as well that will be the area that's affected by whatever it is you're terraforming so that's quite a quite a large area it's a radius of 30 so it's like 60 across um, the full width and height if you want to think of it that way just play around with the, the values I mean even like five meters is, is quite a large area uh, to be terraforming so anyway let's go back to right clicking terraform area so the default is 30 just click in there and uh, alter it to something else if you, if you don't want it to be 30 and then click sea land and you'll start checking things um, same again with the the chest um, because you're going to need a lot of dirt to do this you can place uh, double chests down so long as they're in a, a form uh, four block area um, of the constructor box uh -huh. um, let me just have a look in here I've got lots and lots of dirt in here because um, you'll start using it up quite a bit now the terraforming an area of 30 is going to take a long time lots of game days um, it is a slow process even though it's doing them about a block every half a second is laid um, it's hard to tell where, where, it, where it does it it doesn't mean these these kind of strips it's just a weird thing that happens with, with the conversion in the Java code for some reason so yeah, yeah it uh, you'll see these strips appear under the sea and then on the surface as well and eventually the whole area will be covered and you'll end up with land just like this with, with grass on it and everything uh, just have a look in here Oops. Yeah, so it's going down really quickly so you can see here as well terraforming one percent so it's got a long way to go yet so it's going to take several days to, to fill over this area but it just doesn't change the biome at all so this is this is like a swamp biome so the grass is like the same color and, the, and everything like that um, the grass will spread normally as, as you probably noticed in in uh, minecraft um, so as long as there's one piece of grass somewhere connected to uh, the, the dirt um, the grass will eventually just spread right across so this is an area that I've already done as you can see it's like spread right across um, and it's uh, it goes right down um, below in fact I've got a railway going down there it goes right below the terraformed layer which is here and then further down you've got all the resources that you can now access before this was this will be under the seabed and uh, hard to get out so you can run railways and everything down there so the second type of um, terraforming is in nature uh, which is basically just planting saplings so um, whereas you put dirt in the chest before you, you put in um, tree saplings now you could put a variety of, of the different uh, trees in or you can just stick to one particular type it's up to you and uh, just cram them full and um, they'll plant trees all over the place now it's, you can actually stop it halfway through or when you've got enough trees you'll see it gets quite dense if you let it run to 100 percent terraforming um, so you might want to stop it beforehand or if you've run out of tree saplings so if that works just the same you just um, decide the radius that you want to affect and click that and away it goes same with the lawnmower uh, nothing's required in the chest for that but you do need to place a chest down just because it's all part of the same uh, program uh, what the lawnmower will do is just uh, cut all the long grass down um, I often like to do that manually before I start now building things on it because it just gets in the way so you can lawn mower a massive area in a matter of seconds or minutes um, so the fourth and final um, terraforming there'll be more later but for, but for now is the flattenizer uh, this will come in handy say if you've got an area like this and you want to build on it although you've got lots of flat land here um, it can be a bit awkward um, you can either dig it out or um, yourself or you can set up an elaborate way of mining it out but it, it doesn't work very well sometimes so that's why I've introduced the the flattenizer so um, this works slightly different to the other ways um, when you place down one usually when you place Sim a constructor box building down normally constructor activated. the um, everything below and on the same level as the constructor box will be affected so all the, like the sea below 
uh, or the grass below. So if you wanted to cut all this grass you'd place the, uh, the box right on top of the hill and it would do everything, cut all the grass below it. Um, whereas the um, flattenizer that works on everything above it instead. So you want to place it on the level that you want the land to be flattened to. So this is the main bit of flat land so I want to place it at this same level um, and obviously it works out the radius as well so um, you could dig a little way into the, the hillside if you want like that. Simu craft building constructor activated. Now you would need to um, place a chest down as well because this will, in fact I'll do a double chest. Um, this will collect all the dirt and grass and cobblestone that's, that happens to be in this area. It will leave a lot of some bits behind like coal and iron ore if you find any at this level. Um, but it will leave those behind uh, so you might have to just dig them out yourself. Um, so the, what this will do is, it, because it's at this level, it will flatten it to the same level that, we're here, that we've got here. So if I go and hire a um, terraformer, hire a terraformer, uh, let's say Ken Bailey. And then if I go to the menu and terraform area, um, I'll do it as 10 just just to bit show you a quicker demonstration and then choose flattenizer and then move out of the way. It'll give you tips on anything you've forgotten to do above his head. He's very excited he looks about terraforming, jumping up and down. So just like the, um, the the terraforming where you're forming land, you'll do it in kind of weird strips so you might not see anything disappear straight away because it'll be inside this little hill. If I move a bit closer you can probably hear, hear the sound of it. You can see there there's a strip being taken out. And there you go, um, he's flattened the land and even discovered a source of water there. Um, now he won't mine out uh, any ores, so they'll be just left there, because uh, he's only armed with a spade. Um, so he'll mine out dirt and grass and cobblestone. So here in the chest is all the stuff that's been uh, dug out, you've got dirt and cobblestone. Uh, so you could take the dirt and um, take it to a terraformer to, to fill in the land or to fill in the sea with, with the dirt um, or you could even hire a courier to regularly pick up the dirt from the from a big dig out a bit bigger than this one and then take that to the uh, and uh, take that to the terraformer and drop it off there so that's all until next time hope you found this useful and hope you enjoyed watching it mm -hmm.